Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Laura. Well, Happy New Year, everyone. I did not want this day to end without coming on and wishing all of my subscribers. You know, I think of you guys as my friends, as my family, um, just how much I love you and appreciate you guys. And I was not going to let this day end without wishing you a very happy new year. So happy new year. This is my first video for 2020 and there will be many more to come. Well, for the new year, um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't make resolutions anymore. What I do for myself is I recommend some things for myself. And so this year for 2020, as I step out of the old and into the new, I gave myself three recommendations, just three. And the first one is to step into the new year knowing my value and my worth. If we keep our confidence and know our value and our worth, it has great recompense. It will take you very far in life. The beginning of overcoming anything is getting your bearings, and those bearings include increasing your self-confidence or having self-confidence. So that's recommendation number one. You know, uh, know your value, know your worth. It will cause you to soar. It will cause you to face your fears. It will cause you to step into any situation knowing that you can overcome it, um, that you are an overcomer, and that you will make it. And so let's boost up our confidence. Let's know our worth. Let's know our value. Because you know what, you guys? You are valuable. You do have worth. And let's let the whole world see that. Let's let the whole world know that. You know, this is 2020. Let's step into 2020 knowing who we are, whose we are, and knowing that come what may, we have the confidence that we're going we're gonna to get through this. We got this. With our hand in God's hand, there's nothing that we can't overcome. Recommendation number two is to step into the new year, not with a mindset of a prisoner or victim of life but to know that you have the power and the courage deep inside of you to write a new chapter, to start a new beginning, to turn the page, to close any book that's open and put it on the shelf if that story is not working for you. You have the power to write your own narrative, to start anew, to be the star of your own life, to be the star of the show the person that you were meant to be. You have the power to become whatever. You have the power to write a new paragraph, to write how the story will begin, what will happen in the middle, who will be the main characters, what the props will be, where it will take place, how it will take place. And you have the power to write the ending. So let's make it a good story. Let's walk into 2020 being the star of our own life. Because baby, when God made you, he broke the mold. And there will never be anyone that will come before you that's like you or that will be after you. So be the star of your show. You can do it. And number three, last but not least, and that is, if there's anyone in your life, anyone that does not recognize your value, at the first inkling, if they're treating you anything less than who you truly are and the way you deserve to be treated, if they don't recognize your value and your worth, bow out graciously. Don't give them the opportunity to continue to misuse you or make you feel a certain way about yourself. Like I said, you're the star of this show and anything less is unacceptable. And so at the first inkling of someone treating you less than the star of your own show, bow out graciously. Don't give them a chance to discard you or allow them to go any further. Walk away. And so those are my three recommendations for 2020. 
Again, Happy New Year. I did not want this day to pass without letting you guys know that I'm wishing you the very best in 2020. Because you know what? You are the best and you deserve the best. So let's make this year a good one. I wish you blessings, peace, joy, and happiness. And let's make this the best year ever. It's going to be the best year ever. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy 2020. And until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.